for my next trick, I shall make these three men disappear. A magical! The Incredible Bert Wonderstone! And yes! So, the Incredible Bert Wonderstone is a magician named Bert Wonderstone, played by Steve, Steve. Carell. Yep, Steve Carell, who as a child was not much of a popular child in school, was bullied by the kid from the Diary of the Wimpy Kid books or movies, if you guys remember oh, that. God. He meets another guy named Anton, played by Larry. Steve! <laughs> <laughs> Let's start two Steve. We got two Steve's. Yeah, Steve Buscemi and the two of them go on to make the magic act. They incredible Bert and Anton. However, they've been doing this for ten years. They've been doing the same act. Well, eventually, you see a magician's trick once. Yes, and eventually they both get fed up. Now there's a new, brand new magician out who is played by Jim Carrey. Steve. Steve Gray. N named Steve. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> wow! He was not really much of a magician, but he's more of like a... Yeah. He's more like a Chris Angel. Yeah. I'd say he's more like a jackass performer. Join with me in this big collaborative review. That was in yes. 16, it was all 90, and Phoenix Slade, or Slash Meyer, Fly, whoever you want to say. be my new channel. Whichever. Just call me channel. Oh yes, uh... Look at that hat. Really? He's advertising his product, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it now. I thought this was a pretty funny movie. Jim Carrey definitely sold a show for this movie. His acts were pretty crazy. Some of my favorites were the hot coal scene, hmm. the pinata, the human pinata, the first trick that he does with the one guy punching him in the face. That was pretty funny. The finale trick, which you'll see in the movie. That was the funniest part of the That was probably the best one. Steve Carell definitely had some good lines. I definitely <laughs> thought he had some bad lines too. Steve Buscemi yeah. was alright. Olivia yeah. Wilde, she was okay. She's not bad to look at. She's just. <laughs> That's an understatement. I know I'm gonna be in a bit of a minority here because I at least like this movie out of the four of us. I thought this movie had a great concept, a great cast, but sadly for me, I think it suffered a lot from execution-wise. You have Steve Crow, Steve Buscemi, Jim Carrey trying to play these magician-like characters, but I don't know, I just... I found Jim Carrey's character annoying as hell for the most part. I just... especially in the hot cold scene where he was like... <sighs> <laughs> Every time he kept doing that, I was like, shut the f up. I thought it was hilarious. I, his grand finale act was f hysterical. I was actually laughing out. I thought that Steve Carell's character, I did like about the entire thing, even through his predictable redemption. I didn't like him. He was a total douchebag. Steve Buscemi, I mean, he was there. Olivia Wilde, I mean, honestly, I thought she did better than she did in that recent one. movies. Jim Carrey is hilarious. If people don't realize it, go see this movie. I gotta say, the best part of this was Alan Arkin as the original. Rance Holloway, my gosh, he was great. Everything else about this movie was pretty good. Mine's a little more in-depth. These two. Lucas and Alex pretty much had ratings already by the time we left the theater. I had to wait in the car a little bit to really dissect what I got. And script-wise, mediocre. There's only like one conflict throughout the entire thing. Great scripts usually have multiple conflicts. It's like an uh-oh, there's a new magician. Oh sh we just lost our entire gig and now yeah. we gotta try to get it back. That's pretty bland. You always want something coming every 10 minutes or so. Concept wise, not good. Characters, even though Jim Carrey's funny, let's put it this, he does a great performance. Do you really consider calling them other by their actor names? I was like, oh hey, Jim Carrey is talking to Steve Carell, not Burt Wonderstone is talking to Steve Gray. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing that made me convinced of anything that there were different characters. Yeah. They're just actors with different names, but they're just being themselves. I mean, Jim Carrey is known for doing that crazy style whatnot for all of his career, and he's great at it. Yeah. We had a great time Absolutely. watching Jim Carrey. Not knocking Jim Carrey was the best thing about this movie. Everyone else was just pretty bland. Message, though, the whole yeah, message, the message that, that, mm, that magic is a magical and wondrous thing. Comedy, it's a comedy. We laughed. 
And that's what you're supposed to do in a comedy. You're supposed to laugh. If you're not laughing, then that's not good comedy. Movie 43, not a good comedy. Or if you're not laughing, it's not a good comedy. And then, of course, is this worth 10 bucks? Is it worth it? My answer is yes, of course it is, because it's entertaining. Wow. It doesn't matter if it's bad or not. I could care less if a movie is bad or good. If it's entertaining. I mean, bad movies can be entertaining. Yeah, the I Room see, yeah. and Birdemic are great examples. Yeah, they're bad it. movies, oh, but they're, yeah. they're entertaining as hell to watch. My rating for this movie, it was a good movie. It definitely was entertained. I'm going to give it a three and a half. Actually, no, a three and a quarter out of five stars. Oh, three and a quarter. Oh, wow. Now we have a quarter. Now, like I said, I like this the least out of the guys here. Like I said, I thought it had a great concept, did a great cast, but just because you have that doesn't mean it's not going to always work. So, this movie is a well attempt, but it's a stale magic act. I'm going to give this movie a two and a half out of five stars. When I go to a comedy, like Joe said, I expect to either laugh so hard I either end up crying and laughing so hard or I end up pissing my pants. Neither of those happened because I only laughed maybe twice throughout the entire thing. Because honestly, I was annoyed by Jim Carrey's character. But until the until the grand finale scene, until that scene, I was actually laughing hard. Overall, I thought it was just eh. All right, I'm gonna agree with Joey uh, with the whole ten dollar thing. Was it worth it? In my opinion, yes. I'm gonna get it a three and a half out of five. So I just pretty much explained everything. I mean, you have the good, you have the bad. More good than there is bad, but the bads are what really make this not even in the four or five star category. Yeah. There's just so many. I mean, script is most important thing in an entire movie. If you don't have a great script, you can't make it good. This is not a great movie. It's a good movie. So... Good registers as a three stars for me. It's not great. It doesn't deserve four. It's good three. So that was our review of the Incredible Bird of Wonderstone. Thank the you last to last movie of the winter season. Thank you to Oh the Zero Sixteen, A Puzzle Ninety, and Joe Marfire. They have some places have. to be. So for my final magic trick, I shall again make these guys disappear so they can get the f out of here. Ready, ready, guys, to get out of here? Oh uh, eh. no! Eh. No. Too bad. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Get the f out of here. Seriously, do it. Do it. Do it.